Welcome back, everybody. Today we are celebrating baby. So mom of two, Kristen Smith is here, and she is going to show us how to make a DIY baby wardrobe closet that's adorable. You will love, love, love. Well, first of all, why? Because I have a big problem, and I like to bring my problems to the show, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> get it out. Get some therapy. Yeah. Um, so my house is a little bit older, and we have a tiny little closet that my husband has that's in our room. That's how they were made, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's, it's like this big. And um, we had a new baby girl, as you guys know, like three and a half months ago. You look fantastic. I know. I know. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you, Thank you Susan Lucci. Oh, no. um, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, I didn't, I underestimated the amount of clothes she would have because my son has like this much space and it's fine, but she needs like a more yes, she's a girl. Of she's so a girl. I'm, I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. I know, right? So I should get used to that. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys what I'm dealing with in my house. Take a look. Oh boy. Lo and behold, the family closet. Okay, this is embarrassing. Here's my section <laughs> right here and up there. Here's part one of Phoenix's section. Right there, I'll show you the rest later. Here's Kingston's area, right here, and right there, and uh, right there too. Don't judge me. And uh, here's the rest of Phoenix's section. In there, yeah, in the crib. Oh wow. my gosh, but that happens when you get the overflow yeah. of all the things. And a new baby it's and you're so working. bad. It's yeah. so bad. And you gotta stay on top of it because they outgrow them so quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. True. So the struggle is real at my house. And because of this, I was shopping online to, for uh, like wardrobes, like big Like an armoire so thing. Yeah. They really are very expensive. Yeah. And then I had this moment where I'm like, wait a minute, I'm on the show Home and Family <laughs> with like DIY, uh, you know, yeah. stardom, right? Sure. And so I was super inspired to turn a bookshelf that you already have around the house into a baby closet. So I'm super proud really of like, right? outside oh, of the lines here. Great. Right? Yeah, that's yeah. really yeah. great. Like, what am I doing shopping oh, it's for? Great. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this. All right, yes, take us through what you did. Earlier. Yeah, got started earlier. And here, here's the bookshelf by itself. It's just a plain old bookshelf. So I just measured it, the first panel from top to bottom. I got any fabric I picked out at the fabric store. I thought this one was cute. And can you use any fabric? Any fabric you want. And just march the measurements right there. Um, I measure it you know, one panel at a time and just cut it. Super simple, there's my first piece. Then I got some liquid starch, put it in a bowl, and then I just painted the liquid starch just like I had a thick coat of liquid starch on there. Ooh. And then I just pressed the fabric on, smoothed it over just a little bit. And then right after I smoothed it a bit, I put another coat of liquid starch on the top. Why liquid starch? And yeah. I, Okay, I love that you asked that because liquid starch is like my new BFF. I'm obsessed with this stuff because it works as an adhesive. So the fabric is temporary. Like I'll show you. I'll show you right here. Mod oh, it's temporary. It's temporary. Mod Podge. I was gonna say use would Mod Podge. Ruin it, but, yeah, but it would it? totally ruin it. So this yeah. is so easy. So if you want to change maybe the fabric or maybe your color yeah. palette on your house changes, you just use that and you can peel it right off. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. And it does like it keeps it, the furniture perfect. And then you can put it right so back, put on. It back on. Is this on the same kind of liquid starch that you would use in laundry? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And then you just paint it back Look, on. I'm gonna I'm show it. you how, and then just put it back on, and it what? sticks back on, and it gives it this nice, like glossy finish too. This is what I love. Look oh, at that. Are you kidding me? Right now, I'm phenomenal. thinking of all the things that you could do with this. This is amazing. Well, well so oh. if you move, if the room decor changes, you could just change it with the right. And wallpaper. If you use wallpaper, yeah. when you take it off, the chances of preserving that wall are like you know slim to none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a way you can just easily do it. Totally temporary. Wow. And they okay. grow up, and you want to switch it out. Exactly. And will it stay put? For as long as you want. Oh yeah, it totally will. Put. And if it doesn't, if you don't put like a thick enough coat, you can just do what I just, just did. That's just phenomenal, yeah. really. Yeah. All right. So. And how much? Uh, and just fifty bucks. And I want to show you really quick how to do the the sockets, the pole sockets. Oh right, right. Because I just got these little pole sockets right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, super easy. And put a tiny little screw with a screwdriver. Uh -huh. Just one screw is fine. And then you just grab a wooden pole from any hardware store, and they'll cut it for you. We painted uh, ours white, but you can yeah. do whatever you want. And there you go. 